Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Burani. He's coming back to you guys today with an episode of Quest for Perfection. Now, I have not done one of these episodes for a very long time. And basically what this series is, is I answer those anal ret retentative questions of, is this better than that? And today we're going to be looking at mid-range to high-range graphics cards like your GDX 760 or GDX 780, and they usually have two DVI ports on them. So I'm going to look at if you use one DVI port, will it give you better input lag than if you were to use the other DVI port? So let's move on now to testing mythology, then we'll move on to the results, and then we'll move on to a conclusion. So for testing methodology, I have two monitors set up both off the DVI ports. One is an Acer 1080p TAN panel, the other is an IPS Yamakaze eBay special. Now I stopped the IPS panel down to 1080p and then I duplicated the displays and then I opened three instances of inputlag.exe and then I used my DSLR stop down to one four thousandth of a second and take a, a few series of shots and I checked the results from there. So the first test we run, the Acer was plugged into the bottom DVI port and the IPS panel was plugged into the DVI port up the top. So the Acer in Windows it referred to this as DVI port 1 and the IPS panel was referred to as DVI2. Now when we did this, we saw that the Acer was actually 10 to 20 milliseconds faster than the IPS panel. And this kind of surprised me because I didn't realize that this Acer panel was this damn good. Wow, this is like a four or five year old monitor and it performs like one of the best monitors you can get. So I'll talk a little bit more about this in the conclusion, but on average, when we had the Acer in DVI port one, and the IPS panel in DVI port 2, the Acer performed about 10 to 20 milliseconds faster than the IPS panel. Now this is inherent. Now what, what we have to remember is, is that the IPS, essentially the TN panel, the Acer TN panel, is faster than the IPS panel, the monitor itself. So when we test the monitor, we're going to be looking for either smaller or bigger differences. So let's move on now to the second set of results. So for the second set of results, we then reversed it. We had the IPS panel in the bottom DVI port or DVI port one, and then we plugged the Acer TN panel in DVI port two or the top DVI port panel. And when we did this, we saw that the results were, I guess, roughly the same. I mean, the IPS panel was about 10, again, about 10 to 20 milliseconds slower than the TN panel, the Acer TN. However, it was, I thought, honestly, I would love to do more testing because I thought it was, if anything, slightly faster. When I used, when I did this test, when I ran the second test with the IPS and DVI port one, I thought it was just only a little bit behind. In some circumstances, it wasn't as slow as when it was switched around. So with that being said, let's move on now to the conclusion. So in conclusion, I mean, there wasn't much, I can't really conclusively say that using one DVI port is better than the other. However, if, I mean, I'd have to do more experimentation on it. I'd love to get a camera that stopped down even further, maybe one eight thousandth of a second. And I'd love to maybe take a thousand shots and then compare it. But in my gut feeling, honestly, though, I'll tell you my gut feeling. And it does, uh, my gut says that using DVI port one or using the bottom DVI port is actually better than using the top DVI port or DVI port two. So if you're a gamer and you want to get the best response times possible and you've got maybe an Zeus that has like one milliseconds input lag and you don't know which DVI port to use, then I suggest using DVI port one or the bottom DVI port on your graphics card. So if you've got the fan here and it's plugged into your motherboard, then use the one down the bottom. That's just my, uh, th my thinking. I'd have to do more conclusive evidence to test, but my gut says that this is ever so slightly faster than the top DVI port. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, one thing, that if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to Tech Yes City, where I do all kinds of nerdy tech videos like this, because I love answering these questions for myself as much as I answer them for you. And it's actually funny because in hindsight, I was using DVI port two for my IPS panel, but now I'm going to be using DVI port one for my IPS panel since I am predominantly gaming off this panel now. And I use it for everything because 1440p is just awesome. Uh, but yes, in a nutshell, I was actually really surprised at how good the Acer TN panel was as well. I mean, wow, it's a five-year-old panel that was literally... I got this thing for like less than $200 back in the day. And it, it was always funny because I wondered why I, I got like... I think I got to 1900 in Heroes of New Earth back when it was a, a bit more popular. And then I switched over. I bought my 120 hertz Samsung 
and my rating dropped and I always wondered why my rating dropped but now I know why because of the input lag the Samsung had worse input lag than the IPS panel and the IPS panel has worse input lag than the Acer TN so I was really shocked I was really surprised at how good the response times were on the Acer TN panels so I'm gonna say if you're on a budget and you're a competitive gamer then you might want to think about getting an Acer TN panel that's just all I'm going to say out of this testing anyway. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys with another tech video very shortly. Anyway, peace out for now. Bye.